Today I want to introduce you to a new groundbreaking add-on for Blender 3D called Humanify, which is capable of delivering realistic humans with only one click. But before we actually dive into the key features, I just want to shout out to In Blender, who is the developer behind this add-on and who gave me the access to it, so I could try it and make my own picture of its capabilities. We all know how it's difficult to create a realistic human in 3D, so let's take a closer look at what this add-on offers. The Humanify add-on contains a library of premium skin material presets that are hyper-realistic and procedurally adjustable. The materials are based on image textures that are high quality with a resolution that goes up to 8K, so the details will be still visible even during close-up renders. This add-on is built on Dust3D Genesis 9 characters, meaning if you use this collection for this add-on, you don't have to put an extra time and effort into making seams and unwrapping the mesh, because all the 3D models are already unwrapped and optimized for immediate use. Because all the settings are procedural, it means that you can easily adjust any value in the shader editor and freely customize the skin properties, such as skin roughness, specular reflections, the subsurface cat radius, skin color saturation, and the amount of detail you want to have. This total control is perfect for those who like creating costume characters for their projects. If you want to have even more control over the skin material, you can obviously connect more properties into the group input. The add-on is really easy to use, and it is suitable for both beginners and advanced artists due to its simplified user interface. All presets in the library are split into four categories that contain materials for each body part. Each preset has an image preview and the name of the character, so we can see how the preset will look like before applying. After choosing the preset you can just click on apply and the add-on will do the rest. Besides the skin presets you can also choose between different looks and contrasts. Right now there are 5 different skin presets for each body part, but new skin presets will be added to the library every single month. Which is a really good deal for those who want to be frequently supplied with new options and elevate their renders to the next level. The add-on is designed to be suitable for both personal and commercial purposes, meaning everything created by you is owned by you. So if you plan to use the add-on for client work, it should be perfect match for you. Now if you want to use your own 3D models, you might need to align the UV maps with the texture first, which will take you a little bit more time, but you can use tools such as proportional editing to match the proportions faster and get similar results. Right now the add-on is compatible with Blender versions from 3.0 to 4.1, but the developers will continue to work on its compatibility with future versions of Blender as well. After installing the add-on as a zip file, you can locate the add-on in the side panel, which can be accessed if you press N on your key. Keyboard. Then just click on Humanify and you will see the menu. The add-on was released just today and it is available on Blender Market, so if you want to get this add-on, you can go into the video description and click on the first link. Overall, I would say the add-on is a very great tool for those who want to work with high quality and realistic 3D human models, suitable for different purposes. Because of the amount of physically accurate detail that the add-on provides, it can be used even for cinematic purposes, VR and other sectors where realism is a must. I really hope the add-on will keep developing even more in the future with new assets and features, because it might be a game changer for the 3D industry. Thanks for watching this video, and again, thanks for in Blender for the opportunity to try this add-on in person. If you want to know more, I suggest you to subscribe and support Humanify on YouTube to stay up to date with recent improvements and add-on development. And if you like this video and you want to see the similar content, definitely subscribe to Graffinity and I will see you in the next video. See you there.